Hi, I'm Chris Bergwald. And I'm Renee Leach. And this is the next in our series of follow-up videos to our Day of Reflection, Come Hear the Story, Getting More Out of the Mass. So Renee, the last video, uh, we, we touched on one of the major points of the day, one that you hit on, especially in your first talk, the idea of covenant. Um, I think one of the other major ideas from the day, uh, just going through the flow of the day, <laughs> your second talk on the, <laughs> the, the Passover meal. Yes. And again, as I mentioned in one of the early videos today, we're recording on Holy Thursday. I'm so struck by the fact that divine choreography, as you often say, uh, today, the day we're recording these videos, it's Holy Thursday, and the first reading at Mass tonight is the, the account from Exodus chapter 14, the, the institution of the Passover meal. And, uh, and, and just the, the importance of understanding that Jesus' Last Supper was a Passover meal and everything that strikes that moment. So the thing I think you know, uh, you've heard from me many times, um, the thing that so strikes me about the, 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 the Passover meal for its own sake, let alone as a precursor to the Last Supper and the Mass, is this whole idea of memorial and the importance of memory for the Jewish people and therefore the importance of memory for us um, at, who have been, as you said in a previous video, we've been, we've been brought into that family, we've been grafted onto that vine. Uh, for the Jewish people, uh, you, I know I remember I shared with you when we were preparing for the Day of Reflection, I was so struck by this line in a book by Father Richard Veris, uh, for, the, for, for, the, for the Jewish people, the greatest sin is to forget, uh, to, especially to forget everything that God has done for, for them, for us. And I think we've become complacent. Um, we as Catholics have forgotten our story. Right. Right. And and that's why this project was so exciting to me. Actually, so before we get into, and maybe this is going to put off the Passover uh, to later in this video or maybe the next video, but let's just go with that for a little bit. The importance of remembering the story. Why 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 has that struck you so much? Um, we're commanded in Scripture to remember the story. Right. Um, and that didn't come from Moses. That came from God. Right. And so when the creator of the universe says, this is important and you need to pass it on to your children and your children's children and you do not forget it um, and the fact that we've become complacent then it becomes a sin and it affects what we believe and how we behave and and are we really living what we believe do we even know what we believe right and, and, and when we remember our story we remember the, the the our family history in this case it helps us know who i am so you know yeah, God commands it. Well, why does he? He's not just arbitrary. You need to remember this. He, but he does that for a reason because he wants us to know who we are. And it, and it goes, we are his family. Right. Like it goes back to that. It's him saying, I love you. You are my child. You are mine. And I've done all of these things to to protect you and to lead you and to set you apart you are a people set apart i love you don't forget that it's important i love you and i think especially for us today so what does this matter to us living 21st century americans so many people have no sense of who they are why they're here what the meaning of their life is what purpose in their life is they're trying they try to give it meaning they try to give it purpose it already has meaning it already has purpose especially for for those who are part of god's family uh for us through baptism that that god has given us meaning he's given us a purpose but we've either never heard the our family history the story or we've forgotten it and so that the importance of, of remembering it i think is a really important thing I, you might have to stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that there is spiritual warfare going on and Satan is doing everything that he can to make us forget and to keep us busy and to pull us away from the truth. So say more. That we are looking for that sense of belonging. We all have a longing in our hearts for a relationship with God. It's there, it was given to us, it's a gift. We're all longing for something, we're all looking for something, but we, and throughout time, are looking in the wrong places. We're looking for money and possession and sex and drugs and whatever, alcohol, whatever, to fulfill that longing of belonging and, and being loved and satisfied. And, and God is standing there saying, I'm here. Right. I'm here and I've pursued you and I'm not letting you go. And 
tell the story because that will remind you of what I have done and what I'm what I'm capable of and and we limit him we put him in a box and say I'm just I'm just Renee Leach average Catholic woman I don't matter um, no I am a beloved child of the Creator who hung the stars in the sky right who died on the cross who died on the cross the love for, for me you. he saw me standing at the foot of his cross and said, yes, I will do this for you, right. I love you. Right. And I think it's so important for us to either remember that or learn it for the first time. That knowing the story is not just so we're more knowledgeable about the Bible or about the Catholic Church. It matters to the core of my being and why right. I'm here and what exactly. I do every day and everything that I do. It, the, the, the church and the sacraments and, and the rituals and all that, that's all tools to help us to remember and live out the story. But we have to be teaching the story. Absolutely.